new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you Fender crawled through a five-year-old's bedroom window before the girl's father tackled him and restrained him with duct tape. Authorities allege an alarming case backed up by surveillance video. Daniel Diaz, age 39, was arrested Tuesday in Grayson, California. The incident happened early Tuesday morning. A couple's young daughter was sleeping with her grandmother, who sensed that they were being watched through the bedroom window. Martha Zapita stated that she checked it out and found that there was a man outside of the living room window. The outlet phrased her by saying that, quote, he was pleasuring himself. Quote, I love you. The man repeated while flying solo outside of the window. Her husband stated that he confronted the man outside, telling him to go, but later he reportedly heard blinds move in his daughter's room. The husband reportedly entered the room just after the man turned on the lights. That was the end of the beginning. The father dragged the person outside, but the man attempted to go back into the home. Both parents tied him up with duct tape. The father stated that he noticed that the man wore an ankle monitor. Deputies identified the man as an offender who was reportedly convicted back in 2009 of breaking into a 64-year-old woman's home and trying to assault her. He reportedly woke her up by rubbing her thigh. Quote, I'm Daniel, he whispered to her. She ultimately escaped by biting him, then getting to a neighbor's residence. Diaz was sentenced to four years in prison. The child in the case saw nothing, but had a headache thought to be from a scare. The girl's older sister, CC Ramirez, described the alleged break-in to the new station. Quote, he went to knock on the door. He tried to open the door, peeking through the window, trying to see, and he was showing his private parts. According to the news, her father told the man to leave, but the person went outside of the house. Quote, the man turned on the lights and that's when my sister woke up and she got scared. Merez stated that she was scared because she believed the man would kidnap her and her sister. She was proud of her father for protecting the family. Diaz faces charges of abuse, peeping, prowling, burglary, and home invasion. Clear cut example of why fathers are important um, to a home and why they have to be present. Because without the father being there in the household to defend that family, more than likely something um, terrible, you know, would have happened to, uh, you know, both of those girls. And, you know, they would have had, you know, memories, horrible memories that would have lasted them a lifetime and not enough therapy on this planet would have enabled them to, you know, bypass um, that. So, you know, much love and appreciation to the father who, you know, stepped up to the plate, who directly was, you know, basically fighting this dude, dragging him directly, you know, out of the house and making sure that he was not going to, uh, you know, do anything to his daughters. And, you know, shout out to the mother as well for, um, you know, getting in there and, you know, helping the dad duct tape um, Diaz and, you know, making sure that he was, you know, down. But, you know, this also goes to further show that the system does not care about children. This is the main thing that I've stated before, because the main thing that he had was an ankle monitor. Now, you know, the greatest question is who is in charge of watching, you know, any of these offenders? Right. The dude is supposed to be registered. He's supposed to be monitored pretty much, you know, 24 seven. He was more than likely outside of where he was supposed to be or at least where that uh, ankle monitor was supposed to be registered to. And he was able to go to, um, you know, this family's home and, you know, pretty much terrorize them. And as which was stated, this is not his first go around with uh, being an offender. You know, he did the exact same thing to a 94 um, year old woman. And, you know, one can only guess at what would have happened and taken place if, uh, you know, that old woman did not fight back and basically escape from that situation going to a neighbor's house. Like I said before, you know, these individuals should never be released. They should never be allowed to walk the streets. They should never be allowed to, 
um, go home. And, you know, for them not to be able to keep track of him, that says a lot. For them to allow him out on an ankle monitor after what he did to an elder, that says a lot. And for them to basically, in a sense, put him back in custody and not to have, you know, any type of bond or to list any type of time that he may receive also says a lot. And you also have to wonder about the lawyers who are working on this case and also about the judges who are presiding over these cases as well as well as uh, the cops, too, because all of you know those areas are at fault for the reason why he was able to get out for the reason why he was on an ankle monitor for the reason why the ankle monitor was not um, being monitored properly and or watched and the reason why he was able to go to this family's home and go directly into uh, the, the young girl's room at that point in time. Like I said before, you know, much love and appreciation to, you know, the mother and the father for, you know, stepping up to the plate and to make sure that he was going to be apprehended and, you know, he was going to uh, get into custody so that he would be locked up. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, he won't be able to do this um, again to this family or any other family as well. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.